The main reason why I conceal carry is because of everything that's going on in the world. There are a lot of kidnappings of African-American women, and there's just a lot of mass shootings. And I just wanna make sure that I am always protecting myself and I'm able to defend myself in any situation. I can definitely understand why a lot of people will have anxiety while carrying a firearm, but I am here to reassure you that there's nothing to be afraid of, especially if you have the proper training and the knowledge of gun safety, you will always be able to defend yourself in any situation. So there's two ways you can carry, on body or off body. I prefer on body because it just makes a lot of sense to have my firearm on me versus in a purse because that purse can either get lost, stolen, someone can snatch it off me and then I'm shit out of luck. <laughs> so I'd rather have my firearm on me and I'll train to know exactly how to conceal from wherever I have it on my body. Now I wanna jump in some firearm considerations. Now, before purchasing your firearm, please understand what's best for you, especially size. You wanna make sure you're able to conceal comfortably. There are a lot of firearms that are really big that you may not be able to conceal comfortably depending on what you're wearing and how much you weigh and all of that good stuff. So you definitely wanna make sure you get all the information that you can about the firearm before you purchase it so that you're able to conceal carry comfortably. Because if it's not comfortable, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna carry that firearm. And if you're not carrying the firearm on you, then what good is it for you? Now, you know it's a lot of weirdos out there. So if I'm going on a date, I definitely wanna make sure I am concealed carrying a firearm in some type of way. And I understand that I may wear a tight fitted dress or a crop top in the skirt. So when I wear outfits like that, I like to conceal carry in my breast area or my thigh. And I conceal carry with my switch gun. So, and the trigger guard is protected. So there's no reason for any discharges. And for my thigh area, I might carry my little 22 revolver or my Glock 26. A couple tips and tricks to consider is when you're concealed carrying in your breast area, you wanna make sure that the release button is to where you're easily able to deploy the weapon and prepare for your target. So it is very important that you consistently train with your firearms, especially in your breast area. You don't wanna shoot yourself, okay? So I, I train as much as I can. If you don't have time to make it to the range, you can also consider dry firing just to make sure you're comfortable with pulling out your firearm consistently anytime that you need. My name is Lady Wick, and for more information on how to conceal carry and everything else Big Daddy Unlimited, please click on the link below for more information. You can also follow me on Instagram at TheRealLadyWick underscore and my YouTube channel, LadyWick TV. Thank you.